Jake, there are two guys sitting in the booth having breakfast, staring out the window. So? So they've been here for hours. I'm thinking they're here to rob the place. Of what? Hey, for all you know, there could be a lot of valuable stuff in here that you can't see. Is there? Oh, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, officers. So, what are the cops doing here? How do you know they're cops? Cheap shoes, cheap suits, and one of them got a 38 in his arm. Oh, my God, I hope they're cops. Excuse me, um, are you two gentlemen police officers? As a matter of fact, we are. See, what I tell you? Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am to hear that. You know, because I was starting to freak out. No one ever stays in here this long. Actually, we're on a stakeout. We're here to watch the guy who works across the street. Oh, thank God, because I thought you might be here to rob the place. Of what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. If more people knew how funny you cops were, they wouldn't be so afraid of you. <laughs> Not that people are afraid of you. It's just that when you hear the word cop, you start to think, oh, my God, what have I done? <laughs> Not that I've done anything. It's just that... Ma'am. I'll go now. You know, I always wanted to be a cop. The heroism, the helping people, the respect. Then I found out what you guys get paid. Like, I'm gonna put my life on the line for 30 grand a year. <laughs> You're doing it now for free. Play that broken meter out front where I always park. Uh, John, I don't think you wanna... Interrupt me? No, you don't. Damn city decided to fix it. You know, I wish the stupid cops would harass actual criminals instead of innocent people who park illegally. And I'm gonna <laughs> smash that. Uh, Becker. Hey, I'm talking here, Bob. Do you still have that baseball bat behind the counter? No, wait, wait, wait. I probably shouldn't do that again. All right, just, just give me a paper bag, please. Uh, Becker, I... No, really no, 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 Rich. Let the man finish. Yeah, let the man finish. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just give me a paper bag, will you, so I can write out of order and stick it on the meter. Thank you. All right, now, what is it you wanted to tell me? Those two guys are cops. <laughs> oh, boy. I tell you, without my medication, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> what I meant was, do you, have, do you have change for the meter? Oh, thanks a lot. You're great friends. I'm a doctor. I'll be fine. You know, seeing you two guys in here has made Bob think about a career move. Maybe you can help me out. So you want help getting into the police academy? No, I want to be a snitch. I'm telling you, now that's the job Bob was born to do. I'm on the streets, I hear things, I can come and go without being seen. I'm like a superfish. In fact, that could be my code name. Or you could call him cockroach. That's what we call him. You see? That's how good I am. I knew that. Sir, you're annoying my partner. How can you tell? I think it would be better if you just left. Yeah, if you want to do something to him, I promise, I'll look the other way. Look, can I ask one more question? No. All right, we'll talk later. I'm sorry about Bob. Some people don't respect personal space. <laughs>